No tests off limits. And the results are in. Mari. These guests all want to know if their partners are having sex behind their back. A lie detector machine will expose the truth. Can anyone pass the test? Jason believes that the woman he loves has secretly been having sex with his uncle. That's some accusation. Yes, it's ridiculous. You've never slept with son. No, I've never. Jason, you're my nephew. It's time for me to tell you the truth. I have been sleeping with your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm speechless. What do you mean you're speechless? It's not true. Like, what? I, I mean, I don't understand. Is his girlfriend lying or is his uncle lying? Only our lie detector test will answer this incredible question. The lie detector test determined. <laughs> Ashley thinks her boyfriend's unfaithful. I'm so scared. But what he was caught saying on hidden camera might actually make her feel worse than cheating. She's <laughs> ugly. Seriously? Plus, is the man she loves a secret pimp? The lie detector test determined. <laughs> you doing it? Why am I always your baby? Who is lying and who is telling the truth? The answer is next. This is Ashley. Welcome, Ashley, to the show. <laughs> Ashley's not happy. However. I want to show you something. Here's a picture when she was pregnant with her boyfriend, Ray. It's baby. She was happy there. But then after that was taken, Ashley finds out Ray was cheating. And determined to save her family, Ashley forgave Ray. But today she's back because she's convinced Ray is cheating again. You see, Ray is a stay-at-home dad. She thinks he's sneaking women into the house while she's at work. He wants to be with other people. You know, he needs to be single and be with other people. Not... Well, we have, we have the results of the lie detector test. He took the lie detector test. I'm so scared to know the truth. Here he is. Welcome, Ray. <laughs> She thinks uh, you're turned off by her weight gain after the baby was born. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. She thinks. But you that. mentioned it in fights before. You call me a fat ass. You know? oh! If you're not thinking it, then Ashley, you're not going to say I have, it. I listen to you talk and complain about it every day. You complain about it to yourself and to me. But you're supposed to be the one that comforts me. And, and I tell, tell you me, no, all the baby, time. I tell you every day that you're beautiful. But then I have to listen to you ridicule yourself. But you don't do anything about it. You know I'm to you. But then how come all these girls say that they with you? I mean, eventually, like, you have you to... You know I cheated. You know I did. <laughs> Not with... No, time out. Not... You know... You know that I hooked up when we were first getting together. You just now admitted that yesterday. I did, I did. You just now admitted you that before that's you came why. here. Because this is what it's here to do, to get the out. This yeah, is... hiding that. Then what else you hiding? Like, what else... There, there is one that I found, I remember when I was taking a lie detector test, and I want to tell you about it before it comes out. So I you do. got another one? Yes, I do. I, I do. And, I, and you, uh, Ralph... Why couldn't you say that? Why couldn't you I own didn't up to even be know. a man and stand up and say... Ralph, I completely didn't even remember, and he... <laughs> he well, he, he forgot about a threesome he had uh, during their relationship. And... When he asked me the question about the threesome, I said no immediately because I didn't remember that. And, and within it. five seconds, I was like, and oh. And you come in home, you mess with nasty trash. Yeah. 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 No, it's not the one you think. It's not the, it's not the. Well, it doesn't matter whether it's called A, B, or C. What does it matter? Yeah. Yeah. How do you forget about a threesome? Like, seriously, how do you forget about a threesome? You forget it, about a threesome. Like, I, I'm not going to give you one. I don't want no other trash living with you. All right. And you ain't going to remember that. So, this is what happened. Oh. There's one more thing, okay? 
in an effort to uncover the truth, with the help of our special ops expert, David Talley, we put Ray into a room with two private investigators. Good. We're posing as guests. I didn't touch nobody, so I'm good. Yeah, here's yeah the I first, didn't touch nobody. Here's the Watch first we uncovered. She's all right, really? You know I can do it. You know I can. You've seen it. You know it. She's like, you know, I'm going to you. I'm going to be with other people. Why can't you man up and break up with me? There's something else he said about. You know. I know I'm not. You ain't all that. I'm not, I admitted that you're prettier than me on the lie detector test. There's plenty tip. of other men out there that look way better than me. Of course. I agree. Oh, shit. If we were married and I put a ring on your finger, <laughs> then, I I cheated on you, then I cheated on you, babe, I could see you being married. Yeah. But I ain't even promised myself to you. I've never even asked you to be exclusively just me. What does it matter? I have never even yet to this day asked her to be my girlfriend. She'll see Yeah. <laughs> how did we get started, Ashley? How did we get what started? What does it matter how when, we got started? When I left to go to Louisiana, you moved into my house without even talking to me. Five years later? Every time, baby, I love you, dude. Ashley, I just told you. We had this conversation like two months ago. I didn't even know I loved you. I openly admitted that to you. Why are you wasting oxygen? You shouldn't even. You wasted my oxygen. Well, guess what? The results right here, okay? you ready for this? We asked you, are you with Ashley because she pays the bills? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. She don't pay no bills. <laughs> None. She don't pay no bills at my house. I don't pay Not no a bills. Oh, no I bills. take that back. You, you paid the pay. water bill last you month. Pay. You paid the water bill last what month. What bills you pay? What bills don't what I, bills I pay? You pay? I pay. I pay the electricity. I pay this network and the phone bill. What job? I don't work part time. 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 I don't still work part time. Three hours, three, nights three a week. days a week. Ten dollars an hour. But that little bit of money that I make still pays my the bills. Guy, my the house she lives in. Diapers. Have you had sexual intercourse with a woman that Ashley doesn't already know about? You said no. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. Oh, I knew it. I told you. See, I have not since I told you I found out I love you. I ain't touched another bitch. We asked you. We asked you. We asked you, have you had oral sex with anyone that Ashley doesn't know about? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Okay. Come here. Hold on. How does that work? How does that You're work? so nasty. Oh, I know I don't deserve her. I, I know I, I don't. Do Y'all ain't telling me nothing. Let me ask one question. I never asked her. You want to be with her? But I'm Maury, the ugliest chick you ever dated. Why would you want to be with somebody who ugly? Okay, I'm not Miss America, and I know that. I know I ain't no Miss America. But it seems like. Do you ever think that it's your personality that makes you ugly? You are. Your personality makes you ugly. I know. I know. I think. Uh, bring bring it out. I've been like for a long time since before. Because anything. you So, from the beginning, okay, agreed. Okay. If you were where you were supposed to be at, I would, I would have to be at. Well, guess what? I can't wait for my counselor, Stephen, to get a hold of these two. We'll be back right after this. We were at the bar. We were at the bar. Yeah, we know. Remember, we went down there. We were at the bar playing pool. You were and nasty. I was playing pool. It was a Halloween night. When the hell that No, it's a time out. You're not even. Else. You're not even letting me finish. We left the bar that night. It we don't came matter back. what comes we out of your work. mouth. You slept with somebody else, and just before we come here, you admit you slept. Mm -hmm. Because you needed it's to okay. know. You needed to know. You wanted to know. That's that was right. the whole. Car didn't you remember that? Car so you could know everything. You told that block in there that I'm the ugliest chick you've ever dated. Seriously? I don't want to be with you anymore. Jason believes that the woman he loves has secretly been having sex with his uncle. <laughs> I 
That's some accusation. Yes, it's ridiculous. Jason, you're my nephew. I have been sleeping with your girl. I'm speechless. What do you mean you're speechless? It's not true. Like, what? I, I mean, I don't understand. Is his girlfriend lying or is his uncle lying? Only our lie detector test will answer this incredible question. The lie detector test determined. Who is lying and who is telling the truth? Can anyone pass the test? Now, everybody's heard of a woman's intuition, right? Well, well guess what? My next guest here is following what he calls his male intuition. Welcome Jason to the show, everybody. Now, backstage is the woman that Jason says he's head over heels in love with, Tasha. There she is. Jason is convinced that Tasha is not only cheating, but that she's doing it with someone very close to him, his own uncle, son. Tasha denies all this. Watch this. For months now, I've been suspicious that my fiance Tasha, whom I'm madly in love with, been cheating on me with my uncle son. I don't have solid proof, but my intuition is telling me that she's been cheating. I love Jason with all of my heart. I just want to put this behind us and prove that I'm not cheating on him. Sonny's like an uncle to me. We're very close, but I would never turn it into anything other than that. I caught them in a mall one time coming out of a lingerie store. When I saw him, I knew something was up. Jason is very insecure, and I wish he would stop letting his insecurities get in the way of our relationship. Now she is cheating. I'm trying to close this chapter and open a new one, explore my options. Okay. So, both Tasha and Uncle Sonny are here. And Tasha's taking a lot of We're going to meet them in a moment. But first, did you catch her and your uncle at the mall? Yeah, that was a situation. Um, me and a couple buddies of mine was going into a store. Um, I seen them coming out of Victoria's Secret. And, uh, and, uh, when he seen me, it was like he seen Jesus. Either the <laughs> Jesus, so I don't know what he was looking so shocked for, you know. And, um, but what they say? How'd they explain it? Um, I didn't actually say anything to her. I said something to him, and he was just, you know, he started stuttering like, um, oh, oh, we just get something for your mom for her birthday. And, you know, it just stuff that I wasn't believing. Right. And I feel like um, I'm not the most attractive guy in the world, but I mean, if she, yeah, but um, I mean, if she had cheat with my uncle Sonny, why, why not cheat with somebody else too, you know? Once they cheat, they always cheat, you know? And how would you describe your closeness with your uncle? Are you close? Yeah, um, we go back since I was in diapers and he used to change them. I mean, like, he family, you know? Uh, it's like, Is this on your father's side or your yeah, mother's side? Yeah, he's my side? father, brother. It's like, why would you, why would you do that? You know, it's like a hundred million females out in the world. Why would you choose mine? You right. know, you're my blood. Are you ready to get? I'm kind of scared of the results, but I'm ready to either close the chapter or keep moving on. Well, Tasha denies cheating with anybody, especially Uncle Son. Right. She denies all this. But here she is. Explain it for herself. Here's Tasha. Oh! Y'all been together a long time, haven't you? Yeah, five years. You're happy with him, aren't you? Yeah, I'm happy with him. I'm not happy with his insecurities. Yeah. Really. Insecurities. You yeah. think Security. Yes. More than he... says insecurity, that says intuition. So how does it? I mean, that's some accusation about you and his uncle. Yes, it's ridiculous and embarrassing. It's driving a wedge in between our relationship. You've never slept with Sonny. No, I've never. I. He's like an uncle to me. Like. Okay. <laughs> I mean. To... Today it could be his uncle, tomorrow it could be the gardener. Like, it's not me, it's you. He's insecure. Yes, I mean, when he wants me to be close to his family. Money? Does, doesn't he slip you? Every now and then, but it's like he. <laughs> in Victoria's Secret. We were purchasing a gift. He wasn't in Victoria's Secret with me. I was in Victoria's Secret. Well, guess what? We've given Tasha a lie detector. <laughs> 
But last night, we sat down with your uncle, Jason, and he made a shocking statement. Watch. You're my nephew. You know that I love you. As hard as it is for me to tell you this, it's time for me to tell you the truth. I have a confession to make. I have been sleeping with your girl from Tasha. I also have to tell you, I've been giving Tasha money in exchange for sex. And I want you to know that I'm sorry, and I beg for your forgiveness. What do you mean you're speechless? Like, because it's, I mean, it's not true. Like, what? I, I mean, I don't understand. So what Sonny's saying is a lie. You're yeah, not he, sleeping with him. I'm not. He's well, guess, his head Well, up. guess what? Here's Uncle Sonny. Let him speak for himself. Jason thought it was true. She says it's not true. You say it's true. How so? Look, nephew, I love you too much to hurt you like this. Love don't do that, homeboy. Yes. You just losing love as a four-letter word of convenience, homeboy. Love don't do that. So you're confessing this to get it off your chest, right? Yes, I am, sir. How many times? Only one time. What? One time. One time. One too many. Tasha, you said it, no. It never happened. Did you give her money? Yes, I have. You gave her money? Yes, I have. Occasionally. That's because he won't accept money. He won't. Did you give her money to sleep with you, or did you just give her money because you felt sorry for her? <laughs> half and half, really. Would you believe the lie detector results before you believe either one of these people? I mean, once the trust is gone, it can't be rebuilt. I mean, I don't know what to believe. Results here. I've got the results of the lie detector test. Okay. Bring out the results. Bring, please okay. Bring them out. And this is about Sonny and anybody else. Okay. <laughs> we asked you have sexual intercourse with Jason's uncle Sonny. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. In fact, he paid you. You are the phone calls you get from men you're having sexual intercourse with. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> we asked you your relationship with Jason on him with anybody. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie more than 10 times. We asked to be with Jason. You said yes. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You believe your intuition now? I believe my intuition. I believe my uncle Sonny. I believe the cards. I believe I need to move on more. The drama's not over. Do you want to come clean to him? It's even worse than he thought. How many times was it? I want to spend the rest of my life with my boyfriend, Steve. But won't commit until he proves he's not a secret pimp. <laughs> Is the man she loves a secret pimp? The lie detector test determined. <laughs> you tell me you're doing it while I'm at home with your baby. lying and who is telling the truth can anyone pass the test this is renisha all right now backstage 
is the man Renisha says she wants to spend the rest of her life with. His name is Steve. But despite Renisha's feelings for Steve, Renisha says there are a few things standing in the way of their future together. You see, Renisha believes Steve may be a male prostitute. <laughs> or if not that, maybe he's a pimp. <laughs> Every night, late at night, 11 o'clock at night, Steve leaves. <laughs> Goes to a section of town where all the prostitutes hang out. <laughs> then he comes home with a lot of money. I want to spend the rest of my life with my boyfriend, Steve, and with my child. I'm tired of hearing about all these other women and him sleeping around. I don't want to go through this no more. Every night, Steve leaves. He would tell me that he'd be out there with prostitutes, and what he doing? you be out there pimping or just selling yourself, because where are you getting this money from? I feel because Steven's older than me that he feels like he can walk all over me, and I'm just his doormat. I love him, but if this lie detector test shows that he is lying and he's cheating, I'm leaving. I don't want to be with him no more. I want to show you a picture. Look at that. Look at that picture. Oh, my baby. Come on, baby. Oh. Is he a good dad? Yeah, he is. You find scratches on his back? One time, my daddy. What did he say? Where, where did he say? Where, where? For my baby. Oh, he said they were in the baby. But what the hell is my baby doing crawling in the middle of your back and scratching your back? Well, this is what Steve had to say. Watch. I love my girl, Ronisha, and my beautiful son, but I'm tired of her accusing me of cheating. I'm 32 and she's 20. I think she's young immature and letting her insecurities get to her. She think I'm pimping and prostituting. She throw every accusation at me, but she's wrong. I love Ronisha, but if she don't stop, our relationship is over. Oh. Oh. I yep. know he's doing something. You do? Let's bring, you bring him out. Bring him out. Here he is, Steve. Steve, come on out. So with all this other people telling me they seeing you with people, and that's just me being young. I'm young. I'm young. I'm young. She accuses you of either being a prostitute or a pimp. Oh. I mean, you're out there and you're in an area that you know you can get in trouble. Well, Maury, how's she gonna low grade me like that? And I'm. I'm oh. a Baby mother, you love me, right? So why are you saying I'm too young? I wasn't too young when we first got together. I wasn't young then. Where do you go, lady? There's a lot of um drugs and street walkers over there. But so what you doing over there? Why can't you stay home? That's all I want from you. Well, guess what? So we've got the results right. Steve, we asked you, are you a pimp? You said no. The lie detector test determined. You're telling the truth. Okay. We asked you, are you a prostitute? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Oh. We asked you, when you leave the house at midnight, are you going to have sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh. We asked you, when you come home sweaty, is it because you're having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector tested. That was a lie. I don't even want to be. No. Ronisha. Ask you, Steve, are you having sexual intercourse with women people see you with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We asked you, are you in love with Ronisha? You said yes. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We asked you, do you want to marry Ronisha? Admitted, do not want to marry. You do this to me, Black. You leave my house to go some girl while I'm at home with your baby. While I'm at home with your baby. 
No. So who is Come it? On, who is it, Steve? Who, who is, is it? it? Do tell me. Do doing it. As much as I do, I take care of your baby. Your baby. And you doing this to me, Steve? Michael cheated on his wife with Sophia. Today, they're a couple. But now Sophia thinks that Michael's cheating on her. So once a cheater, always a cheater? Or will he pass the test? The lie detector test determined. The secret is coming out. I cheated and the kids might not be here. And the DNA results are in. Jerry. You are the cop. You're up on stage. Is lying and who is telling the truth? <laughs> Can anyone pass the test? Everybody, welcome Sophia to the show. <laughs> Sophia. Now, you see, Sophia met her boyfriend Michael on a chat line. <laughs> and then they fell in love. And then Sophia made a shocking discovery. Michael was married. But they were so committed to each other that Michael left his wife and soon after Sophia became pregnant. And today, a year and a half later, Sophia believes she may be getting a taste of her own medicine because she now believes Michael cheating on her and the lie detector will uncover the truth. So once a cheater, always a cheater? Is that what it is? Yeah, because I this, helped him cheat on his wife. Yeah, so right, that's the whole thing. To me. But he says no. But this morning. What, what about this morning? While we were waiting, he told me that he had met up with a girl. Oh. And that they started to have sex. Oh. But then they didn't do it. They didn't do it. You think he, he regrets giving up his family for you? Yes, I do, because he's always calling his ex-wife when we fight. Oh. And he asks if he can go home. Oh. And home is not your home. <laughs> Guess not, not to him. What'd you find on the mattress? There is a stain on the mattress. Oh. Like, like he had been having sex with some... <laughs> We sat down with Michael after he took the test, and he admitted he does have a problem. Watch this. Sophie is the love of my life. We have a child together. We should be the picture-perfect family. She thinks I'm cheating and lying to her, but I'm not. She's the one I want to be with. I admit I'm addicted to chat lines, but I've never, ever met up with any of these women. I can't stop chatting online. I know it's wrong, but it doesn't mean I'm going to cheat on her. She's the one I want to marry. I need Sophia to realize the past does not have to repeat itself. I have not cheated. I will not cheat. I will love her forever. Everybody, here's Michael. Michael, come on out. Here's Michael. So, Michael, I can do because, I mean, you wanted, you wanted everything to come out, and, and as you were taking the test, you wanted to... Tell the truth. Yes, I did. I wanted everything to come out. Why did you meet up with that one girl? I don't have an explanation for it. it you was, never it have was an stupid. explanation for anything. It was stupid, and I'm sorry. You're going to lose everything, and you don't know why. You're not cheating on me? No. Except for this one instance. Correct. We're going to find out the results right now. We asked you, Michael, do you regret leaving your family for Sophia? You said no. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. We asked you, is the stain that Sophia found on the mattress from a woman you were having sex with? You said no. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. See, I told you. We asked you, do you want to marry Sophia? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. We 
We asked you, have you met up in person with women you've met on chat lines? If so, how many times? You admitted you met up with one woman one time, but the lie detector determined that was a lie. You met up with a woman twice. Oh. No. Oh. Time. I've never met a woman. During your relationship with Sophia, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? You admitted that you had sex with a woman one time, but the lie detector <laughs> determined that was a lie. You've had sex with another woman more than one time. <laughs> Before you go home, I'm counselor Steve, okay? We'll be back right after this. The secret is coming out. I cheated and the kids might not be here. And the DNA results are in. Gerald. about the expression the truth will set you free but my next guest Johnita is praying that her truth doesn't end her five-year relationship with her fiance Gerald you see Johnita is about to reveal a secret one that could potentially cause Gerald to end their engagement and walk out of her life forever now for two weeks Gerald has known that Janita has been hiding something from him and it's been eating him up and he's trying to figure out what the heck it is. Watch. I told Gerald two weeks ago that I was keeping a secret from him. Ever since then, things have been horrible. He moved out and he won't come back. He's angry with me and I feel so terrible because I hurt him so much. I'm terrified that this secret is going to destroy our relationship forever. Gerald is the love of my life and I don't want him to leave me. But it's too late to turn back. I have to confess. What's your secret? I cheated and the kids might not be here. Oh! Those twin <laughs> Those twin boys that he loves so much? I heard that this happened when you all first got together. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And you were still seeing other people. Yeah, because we wasn't, I didn't feel serious, you know, uh -huh. like he did. And I was just running around and out. But since the boys have been born, you haven't done anything, right? No. <laughs> Gerald's never questioned them, huh? No, he, he been there since I've been pregnant, so. Okay. Well, here he is. You're going to have to tell him. Here's Gerald. Gerald, come on out. <laughs> Gerald, why'd you move out? Oh, because it was it was just too much stuff going on, too much stuff I couldn't handle. What'd you think when she said she had a secret? I was, I mean, I was crushed. Cause she's my everything. You know, I'm trying to marry her. I'm trying to really actually marry her. Well, Johnita, turn to Gerald. Tell him why you brought him here. I love you and I want to be with you. And I hope don't nothing change after today. I've been seeing somebody Something else. Go ahead. Tell them everything. And the kids might not be yours. <laughs> Sit down, Gerald. Gerald, first of all, we don't know this. Man, I mean, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, I'm heartbroken because I've been with them kids since they was crawling. Well, I this is, the kids well first them. of all, before you make any... Before you draw to any conclusions, before you make any decisions, 
we can do a DNA test and find out if you're the father of these children. Do you want me to do that? I mean, whatever it takes. I, I want to be there. I really want to be there. You want, so we'll do the DNA test? I mean, whatever it takes. Yes. You want to do the DNA yes. test to find out? Yes. You yes. have anything to say to her before? Because it's going to take a couple days. I love you. And, and the, best thing, the best thing to do is to try to make this work. And whatever it takes, we're going to do whatever it takes to make this work. We'll be back right after this. Results are next. Gerald. His uncle had a shocking confession. I have been sleeping with your girl from Tosh. It's not true. Like, what? I, I mean, I don't understand. The drama's not over. Do you want to come clean to him? It's even worse than he thought. How many times was it? You are the father. You're up on stage. <laughs> who is lying and who is telling the truth? <laughs> Can anyone pass the test? I love you and I want to be with you. And I hope don't nothing change after today. I've been seeing somebody and the kids might not be yours. You can do a DNA test and find out if you're the father of these children. Do you want me to do that? Yes. It's been almost a week. How's it been going, Janita? Not good at all. We our communication bad now. You want him to be the father, don't you? Yes. What happens, what happens, Gerald, if you're not the father of either? Because these are fraternal twins, right? They're not identical twins. No. So we've had it on this show, a million to one shot, where the guy was the father of one but not the other. Well, we're going to find out. In the case of four-year-old Hashan, Gerald, you are not... Four-year-old Rayshon, Gerald, you are not the father. <laughs> now you, um, you need to listen to what I gotta say, then, because you you knew this you knew this was going on before all this happened. We can help we can help you find out the birth father if you want us to. <laughs> Gerald, you said that you would still be in the lives of these yes. kids. I still want to marry her. You still, still want to marry her? Yes, I still want to continue doing what I got to do. I'm sorry. His uncle had a shocking confession. I have been sleeping with your girl for time. It's not true. Like, what? I, I mean, I don't understand. The drama's not over. Do you want to come clean to him? It's even worse than he thought. How many times was it? Who is lying and who is telling the truth? <laughs> Can anyone pass the test? Earlier, Jason came to the show because he feared that the love of his life, Tasha, was actually having secret sex with his uncle. That's some accusation. Yes, it's ridiculous. You've never slept with Sonny? No, I've never. I... His uncle had a shocking confession. I've been sleeping with your girl from Tasha. Tasha failed a lie detector test. Have you had sexual intercourse with Jason's Uncle Sonny? You said no. That was a lie. But she still claimed they never had sex. I'm speechless. What do you mean you're speechless? It's not true. Like, what? I, I mean, I don't understand. Backstage after the show, executive producer Paul Fallhaber brought these two back together. Do you want to come clean to him? Do you want to give him that respect? I mean... I guess the truth is all now. I mean, well, my uncle. How many times was it? More than once, probably like twice, three times, maybe. 
You want to be with him? No, nah, she can't. It's impossible. You think so? I know so. I feel it. She act like she hurt. I'm the one hurting right now. It looks like Jason is not ready to forgive and forget. We'll be sure to give you an update on a future show. Until next time, America.